Hello YouTube. Today I have found out a very exciting thing with my Raspberry Pi. And I have a Raspberry Pi 2 and I've been wanting to create an FM radio transmitter with it. But the regular Pi FM was not compatible with the uh with the Pi uh with the Raspberry Pi 2, it's only compatible with the ras Raspberry Pi 1. So, today I'm going to show you guys how to make it work on the Raspberry Pi 2. So, first of all, I have a, a win here. I'll just do everything from the start here. So, first of all, load up Putty. I'll put the links down in the description for everything. Type in your uh, Pi's IP address. Or, if you don't want to do this in Putty, you can just do it over the internet on your Pi. Whatever. And type in your uh, password. The default is Pi. And Raspberry. And then I'm going to clear the screen. And what we need to do is we need to make a D directory, MKDIR. And we're going to call it Pi FM. You don't have to call it Pi FM, but I just uh, recommend that because then you'll know where to go. And then you're going to change the directory to Pi FM. And then you're going to LS. There's nothing in that folder. So I'm going to put all these commands and links down in the description. Okay? So don't worry when I open up this notepad document and start copying and pasting things. So you copy it, control C, and then you paste using right click in putty. Then you press enter, and it will grab that uh, tar.gz file. Now, when you're done with that, you're going to type in tar-xvf space pi tab and then enter. And it will extract those out. Now we can remove the pi fm.tar.gz and now you have these three files. Now, you're going to want to minimize your um, uh, putty terminal here. You're going to open up WinSCP. So, open up WinSCP and you're going to type in your host name, your username, and your password. You're going to click on login and it will log you into your Pi. Once you are inside of your Pi, you're going to double click on Pi FM, that's the folder that you just created, and you are going to delete Pi FM.c. Delete it. Click on to OK. And now, what we need to do is we're going to minimize this, and I have another URL that I'm going to type in here. And I'm going to open up Google Chrome. Control V and paste it into there. And it will take you to this page. It is, it, I don't know what the language is. I think it's Chinese, but it could be any language. So you're going to translate it using the Google Translate. That's why I use Google Chrome. And then scroll down, and you see all that code. Just forget about that code. And they gave you a nice little download here. You're going to click on that and it will download it for you right in the downloads. Open up this guy. This is my music directory. I'll show you about that later. Let me press shift and click on the file explorer to open up another window and go into downloads. You have a new pyfm.t.gz. I'm not sure. Yeah. So you're going to need to get WinRAR to extract this. And I will put the link for that down in the description too. So I'm gonna double click on it, and you got all this. Um, all you have is a pi2fm.c. So you're gonna open up your WinSCP, and you're going to drag and drop this guy into there. Now, when you right click on this, you're going to rename it, and you're just gonna call it pi.fm.c, just like the old one. Alright, now you're going to close out of this, and close out of this, and I'm going to just minimize this win SCP, just for the fun of it, and this code will be down in the description too, you're going to copy it, 
And then you're going to open up your putty again, and you're going to do LS, and you're going to paste that into there, and it should convert, uh, oh, uh, what's the word? I can't think of it. Well, it's compiling it. It compiled it into, uh, the Pi FM so that it would work for the Raspberry Pi 2. So, you got everything, and now you can see how it has the A dot out in there. That is what we are going to use. Um, so, you see the sound.wav. Uh, that is what we are going to play. So, we're going to type in sudo because we're using GPI opens. You have to connect to a, uh, an antenna to GPI pin number four. It's the fourth one out from the LED inside the pie. Uh, I'll show you a picture of that, of that, and then, um, you're going to type in pseudo dot slash a dot out space, let me turn on my phone here, my phone has a radio tuner built into it, um, the one that I'm going to broadcast to is 87.9, because as you can see, there's no other channel that I can reach with it, so, now you're going to do that, A dot out, and then you're going to type in your sound that you want to play. In this case, it's sound dot wav. And then you're going to press space, and you're going to type in 87.9. And you can press enter. Are you ready? There you go. That's Star Wars for you. And you guys, you press control C here to exit. You guys are probably wondering how I can play an MP3 file. So, I'm also here to show you that. So, we're going to I'm just going to minimize this and you're going to minimize the terminal. And actually inside of this, I've already done it, but you do sudo apt-get install ffmpeg. You press enter and it will install that. Now, you're going to, after you've got that installed, um, you are going to want to, uh, let me see if I can find out how to do this. It's inside this same article here. You're going to do the same thing as this, but only you're going to do use FFmpeg. Oh, wait, that's the wrong one. This page, I think that, that when we translated it, it uh, we, it actually created like spaces where they're not supposed to be spaces. But anyway, we're gonna go to IC Robotics. This is a uh, website. This is the website the people that actually built this uh, Pi FM transmitter. So you're gonna copy this code right here. I'll put it down in the description so you don't have to look for it and all that. And you are going to right click in the putty to open this up. Now, we are going to need to open up WinSCP. There is, this is the reason why I had my music up in the first place. Open up WinSCP, and we are going to find a, uh, I'll just do Maroon 5 Animals. Move this guy into here, and it's in here. You're going to right click it and rename it so that there are no spaces. And now you are going to minimize that. And when you type in animals here, and now you're going to sudo dot slash. And right here, keep that minus sign, press space, and then the channel that you want to broadcast to. In my case, it's 87.9. Are you ready? Oh, yeah, 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 I totally forgot about something. You see where it says, uh, sudo dot slash pi fm? You do not use pi fm. You do slash a dot out. And then you press enter. Oh, yeah, I have to press play on my... And as you can see, it's working. Um... Now, you hear how it's kind of bad quality? I have no idea why it's doing that. I think it may be because I'm way too close to the antenna. 
or something. If you guys have any ideas on the why my quality is so bad, you can you please tell me in the comments down in the dish. And that is pretty much all I have. If you press Control C, it will exit it. And that is how to uh create a Pi FM radio transmitter for the Raspberry Pi 2.